Hello to all YouTubers and welcome back to yet another video by New York Stilo. Today we're going to cover a quick update of the 90 gallon system. I'm excited because I was finally able to get back to working with the system. I had promised the girlfriend that, you know, for the uh, holiday season, I wasn't going to touch the tank. Uh, we had so much to do uh, visiting siblings and, and them coming over and visiting us. And I just, you know, I'm sure you guys can understand. It was it just wasn't enough time for me to touch the system. But for the past two days, I've actually, after work, coming home and messing around with the system. And as you can see here, there's a mess all over the place. Now, uh, the chiller is out here with the light to the refugium. The uh, some refugium is actually sitting out here. Uh, on this table is some other equipment. Uh, the top off system would needs to be installed below in the cabinet and I've actually been able to install quite a number of my electrical equipment down below. I'm going to show you that in a minute and uh, uh, the left and right side of the tank. Now let's talk about that for a, a second here. Now for those of you who have been following my videos, uh, I've been posting videos since uh, December of last year so I have like a one year anniversary uh, and quickly let me just say this. Now, in the past two weeks and some change, I've gotten like 260 plus subscribers. Guys, you don't know how um, happy I am about that uh, because I definitely want to keep this reef community alive. Uh, you know, uh, share my uh, experiences with uh, reefing and I hope you guys upload videos as well. And I'm sure that uh, half of you, if not more of my subscribers, I'm actually subscribed to you. So I do look forward to your videos as well. But, um, you know, those 260 plus subscribers, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm rebuilding the 90 gallon system. I have a, a 14 a video process for a 30 gallon nano system. Got a lot of more videos to come. Uh, going to do a video on carbon, uh, what to look for. We're going to do a video on glass versus acrylics. Uh, all of these videos are coming up Thursday, Friday. Uh, as soon as New Year comes up, I'm going to definitely jump in head first and I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos on a, on a regular basis. Uh, we're also going to talk about live rock versus dry rock, uh, introducing uh, a deep sand bed into your system. I'm going to do a, a detailed video on how to aquascape your aquarium. This is very important because far too often uh, people, when they aquascape their system, they put a, a bunch of rocks on the sand. I'm going to show you that, uh, you know, it's best to have the least amount of, of rock sitting on the sand. So um, aquascaping, everything of the sort is all coming up. I'm going to really discuss that in detail for those of you who really want to learn how to set up a 90 gallon system. Now, I'm going to get into the equipment that I installed below. We're going to get into that, but uh, for the time being, uh, left and right side of the tank, you're going to see some dividers here. Now, for those of you who have been following my videos, you guys know that I've always had a large 20 gallon tub, uh, you know, basically a, a, you know, a garbage, white garbage container from Rubbermaid uh, Brutes. And, you know, I use it as a top off system. And the reason for that is because I like my system to be as automated as possible with this 20 gallon tub which i'm going to show you uh quickly is you know, i don't have to touch the top off system for like a month at a time you know so it it, it makes it easier for us uh for me and, and my girl who lives here to really uh take care of the system but you know here's the thing about these two dividers here because what you're looking at here left and right are some uh, dividers now I had a carpenter come over and he gave me a quote because I wanted him to build me some cabinets that were similar to the stand that were going to cover uh, this white container. Let's look here behind this divider. And so behind this divider, of course, is the white container that I use as a top off with some equipment up top. Uh, lots to do here and I'm going to document everything on YouTube. But um, the problem here lies that, you know, the, the, the guy was like giving me a crazy price for building these cabinets. And so wifey was like, no. And so she went out and bought this. Now, I kind of like it. 
uh, you know, it, it kind of adds to the living room and everything, and it'll hide the uh, white container, and it'll also hide the chiller here, which goes on the right side of the tank, and all you will really be able to see is the tank itself. And so uh, you guys can post your opinions below. Uh, let me know what you think about the dividers here. Kind of looks like a shrine. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe adding some plants that are hanging from the ceiling, uh, make it look really uh, natural here. But we're gonna, we're gonna get to that in some future videos. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what I've done here below. There's a mess here all over the place. I'm gonna open the uh, cabinet here. And let me, let me see if I can grab a seat down here and go through this quickly with you guys. Okay, so what I've done here and what you're looking at here is, you know, a standard uh, Black & Decker wireless drill here. And I've gotten some bits too. It's actually inexpensive. You can go to Home Depot and buy yourself one of these for like uh, 39 bucks, uh, 10 bucks for the drill bits. And uh, you'll be able to install your equipment uh, into your stand, which is actually what I've done here. And so... Let's go quickly through this here. The wireless Vortec uh, wave drivers here, I've gone ahead and installed them here. Uh, you see one on the left and one on the, uh, one on the left here and one on the right. Now, one thing that I did do was take into consideration that the screws that I was going to use could have been black, uh, but instead I've actually gone ahead and purchased uh, some screws down here that are um, stainless steel which is much much better uh, and more uh, rust resistant so here are the two wave drivers and of course in the center here are the modules for my reef keeper light system so the first one you see here is the PC4 module which allows you to connect four electrical components uh, in the middle here is the system lab one which uh, monitors the pH ORP uh, temperature and the top off system and of course here's the other pc4 now aside from installing the equipment up here which i'm very happy about it overall i've also gone ahead and installed uh, the ballast for my metal halide system uh, over on this side sorry about that i actually uh, hit the door but um here is the ballast of my metal halide system very quiet um, really efficient, made by Coralife, that came with the uh, uh, metal halide system. And here is the other uh, ballast here in the back. Now, um, there's an open space here. Let me touch up on this because when I did a review of this stand altogether, which is solid wood, I discussed that I was going to add a piece of wood, and I will do that. I will do that probably by Tuesday. Uh, I've got a lot of equipment coming in that I ordered last week, but there's a huge storm out here in New York and deliveries are just late. So uh, Thursday and Friday, I should get some deliveries. But on Tuesday, I'm going to go to Home Depot, purchase this piece of wood, paint it down, cover the back. Uh, I've also since shortened uh, the uh, returns here, the tubing, the black tubing. I cut it and I made it shorter and took the drains and put it behind it. And so I have to install the sump refugium and with the design of the sump refugium, considering that it covers the first and the second stage and it keeps the water level really low on the last stage, there will be no splashing that will be touching this electrical equipment. I will ensure that I install this properly so that no mistakes are done and no electrical fires or anything like that uh, can actually happen. And so uh, it's really, it's, it's a great feature to have everything installed inside of the stand, uh, keeps all the equipment out. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. And that's my goal. And of course, with the uh, dividers that I have here, now all you will be able to see will be the tank itself. So I'm really, really excited about the overall build process. Uh, many more videos to come, guys. I mentioned some of the videos. There's a huge list of videos I have to do. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Rate my videos, guys. That's all I ask for. Uh, post your comment below. Make sure you voice your opinions. Let me know what you guys think about the dividers. And hope you guys have enjoyed this brief little update by New York Stilo. 
Uh, be sure to come on back. Many more videos to come. New York Stilo signing out. Peace.